So in this problem, we're asked to find y prime if y equals the ln of 3x squared plus 5y. So in order to do this, what we're going to have to use is the chain rule. So we're going to find the derivative of our outside with respect to the inside and multiply by the derivative of our inside. And so first what I want to do is just rewrite our problem. So we have y equals the ln of 3x squared plus 5y squared. So what we do is find the derivative of our outside, so which is derivative of ln of x, which is 1 over x. But instead of x, we're going to have 3x squared plus 5y squared. So this is going to become 1 over 3x squared plus 5y squared. And then we want to multiply by the derivative of our inside. So the derivative with respect to x of 3x squared plus 5y squared equal to so first we want to find the derivative of 3x squared, which will become 6x, because we just move the 2 down and then subtract 1 for our exponent. And then the derivative of 5y squared is going to be 10y, because we move the 2 down. Then, um, since we're differentiating y with respect to x, we want to multiply it by y prime 2. So this is what it's going to be. So and, uh, if we want to just rewrite this whole thing, we can just rewrite it as 6x plus 10y times y prime over 3x squared plus 5y squared. And so this whole thing is going to be equal to y prime. So the next thing what we want to do is multiply both sides by our bottom so we can get them uh, separated. So we'll have 6x plus 10y y prime is equal to y prime times 3x squared plus 5y squared. So what we want to do is just multiply this out. So I'm going to rewrite it. So we'll have 3x squared times y prime plus 5y squared times y prime. So now that we have it in this form, what we want to do is get all of our terms with y prime on the same side. So what I'm going to do to do that is just subtract this and put it on this side. So we'll have 6x is equal to 3x squared times y prime plus 5y squared times y prime minus 10y uh, times y prime. And so what we can do is rewrite this as, uh, since all the terms have a y prime, we can take out the y prime from all of them, just factor it out. So we'll have y prime times 3x squared plus 5y squared um, minus 10y. And so now, since we're solving for y prime, all we have to do now is just divide both sides by this number. And so when we do that, we're going to get y prime is equal to 6x over 3x squared plus 5y squared minus 10y. And so this is going to be the answer to this problem.